Good morning, friends. Brian Lama here with Cut the Plastic Environmental Mitigation Solutions. I'm downtown at the Wellington Web Building uh, here in downtown Denver, Colorado. And I want to show you this uh, recycling bin, which is outside of this security port. And uh, you can't see it, but there's another security port entrance over there. The reason that I stopped to do this is that I noticed when I came through, was walking through the building, that this landfill bag here has two garbage bags inside of it. And it was really interesting to me because this is the Denver Mile High City Compost Landfill Compost and Recycling Station. And when I walked up here, uh, knowing that I'm inside a security setting, I knew that somebody from janitorial services had thrown these into this communal bin, uh, which is interesting because this is full of plastic water. There's cups in there, but there's a, there's a plastic water bottle. There's an aluminum can here. There's another aluminum can there. Um, and there's another aluminum can there, a cardboard box, another plastic bottle. This newspaper also was fully inside this bin. Some things that I was doing uh, before I decided to go live on was to show the different types of cups that are clearly posted but not listed but they're in the bins there's a whole bunch of different kinds uh plastic bottles in there and that's good what i found really interesting though as you see is these this is the compost section that i just pulled that out of the only thing that's compostable here this is the compost piece right uh but when we pull out this cup this is a solo cup and um, it's got a little stamp right there that says that it's recyclable. So we're going to put that in there. But see that? That's paper with a plastic lining and food waste. So we want that to go in the trash bin. But this is just a quick little couple minute audit uh, here in downtown Denver. We have a really bad history uh, consistency of recycling. But let's, uh, I got to get my jacket so I don't get that lost. See, there's another one right over there. Folks, just two one -y steps or something like that. So there's the first one. I'm going to come over here. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever it may be. And um, we're going to examine this box as well. So we see we have some plastic trash in there. That's pretty good. Um, Uh-oh, look at this. It's a landfill, and there's a juice bottle in the landfill. So... Uh, the juice bottle will probably be something like this over here. And I'm going to do them a favor and dump out the beverage into that garbage can because that's fun. And uh, we'll put the lid back on that because when we recycle our bottles with lids, I want them to be lidded up. So this one's been recently emptied. Um, but we can see that even just the proximity distances and stuff that the systems may not be as effectively used um, as they were. Also, I want to note that this is a public, beautiful public building. Uh, look at these large lofting ceilings, the artwork that goes from floor to floor. You can kind of get in between. Of course, our HSS security personnel um, here in public a public space and she i'm doing that particularly because she's not a big fan of being recorded publicly um it's just beautiful there's all kinds of uh guides and uh information going on here in this public space denver community active living coalition pilot and prioritization where do i live so this is, looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting display going up here national resource management uh, at the Wellington Web Building, something that you might want to come and check out. But I'm going to um, cut the feed here because I started just wanting to look at the recycling booth and how ineffective and trashy it was and how the garbage bags were in there. Um, garbage bags were in there full of trash that was provided by, obviously, internal managed, uh, waste management personnel because you wouldn't carry garbage bags into a building. All right, my name is Brian Loma, Cut the Plastic Environmental Mitigation Solutions. We'll talk to you later.